What's up my little bronies? This is Priceless and I'm bringing you a Gears 3 video, commentary, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this game, uh, Rust Lung. I'll talk about Rust Lung a little bit, I'll talk about some other stuff, but first off I want to kind of tell you guys what's going on in this game. Uh, I'm actually playing against two guys from the amazing team, the, the MLG team. Um, uh, who was it? Who was it? Skyless, I believe. Yeah, Skyless and Arctic. Two really beast players and uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, the first round, I'm not going to do so great, but the second round, I really put my tryhard pants on, and uh, I did a little bit better, but, you know, we end up getting, we end up getting beat, you know, because, uh, <laughs> I don't know, we just weren't playing that well together, and uh, I can make excuses, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that uh, we got beat. I mean, the other team played better than us, and, you know, that's going to happen every now and then. Um, playing with, uh, we, we do have a full party, but um, playing with uh, Darkfire Playboy, I play with him a lot, but the other guys I don't play with a bunch. Um, you know, we were a full party, but you know, I really don't play with uh, Static Lightning very much. I don't play with Al Bounced a whole lot. And Rulon Ramirez, he's somebody I know in real life, but I don't really play with him that much either. But, uh, you know, we, we just weren't really working really well together. So that's another problem we had. We were just, uh, we weren't communicating. We weren't, you know, working well together as a team. We weren't doing anything. And shit like this happened. I, I got caught without my shotgun out. I had my Lancer out. I don't know why I did that. I Because like, normally... Whenever I spawn, I always pull out my shotgun, you know, just in case that happens. Like, I get caught off guard. But for some reason, I didn't do it that time. And uh, as, uh, as you see at the beginning of the video, I had my retro out because I figured, oh, this is a pretty close quarters map. Maybe the retro will help us out. Uh, but I, I can't use that gun. I don't know what, like, I can't, I can't handle the kick. And this is another mistake. I dropped the meat, the meat shield. I don't know what, like, I made so many mistakes in this game. It was just... Not the people, the people I'm playing against are not the kind of people you want to be making mistakes on. I mean, there's two pros on the other team. You really can't afford to mess up like that. So I've, I've made quite a few mistakes. Um, I picked a weapon at the beginning that I can't really use. I managed to kill Skyless. I don't know how he even got me. He got one really good shot on me and bodied me. But, oh well. Skyless was, like, we played them twice this night. We played them once in King of the Hill, and then a few games later we went to Team Deathmatch to try something else out. Um, and we, oh, I got fucking destroyed. Good, good shit, Arctic. Oh, man. I can't believe I, I, I messed that up that bad. But anyways, uh, we played them again Team Deathmatch, because we like to switch up game types every now and then. And, uh, we played them on Blood Drive. And, oh, man, that was, that was terrible. Um, I don't know, I just don't like Blood Drive for anything besides Wingman and King of the Hill. Ooh, nice triple. Oh, my God, I killed a pro. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I don't really like Blood Drive for anything besides uh, King of the Hill and Wingman. Uh, it just it gets it gets too campy. I don't know. I can't I can't handle it. I don't really like Team Deathmatch in general, anyways. Um, basically, the only game types I really like are King of the Hill and uh, and Wingman. But uh, yeah, that's enough about that. Um, so, anyways, I've made quite a few mistakes in this uh, video, like I said. But it will pick up in the second round. I think I get. I get the majority of my kills in the second round. I actually, I actually go positive in this game. Um, I'm trying my hardest to get that hill, but for some reason we just can't, we can't get to the hill. Like Rust Lung's not a very big map, but it's you know it's a decent sized map. Um, and for whatever reason, we just can't seem to to get control of the hill. Like we're spawning across the map. That happens to me like every every King of the Hill match I play. I always spawn. Oh, where where the fuck did? Okay, did you did anybody see that guy? He was like laying down prone on the ground or something he was not even on my screen I well that that would have pissed me off oh man <laughs> but anyways yeah I think we get yeah we get too old in this game so I mean, normally I'm not one to post uh, losses because you know normally a loss just straight up pisses me off and ah oh, failed so hard right there I think that guy must have had a uh, turtle beaches or something because he had to have heard me I was trying my best to be sneaky, but uh, yeah, normally I don't like to post losses, but you know, I figured this was a pretty good game, you know, we're playing really good people, even though there's only two of the guys from Amazing, the other guys on their team were still pretty good, I mean, they, at least they were bodying people, like their shots were counting or something, something was happening, look, that that's the same guy, he just keeps like, I didn't even know he shot, it looked like he was still like, rolling into the cover, or any, I don't know, it's, that, that shot never works for me, I can never do that, but you know, we're, we're, we're trying, <laughs> We just had no communication. And, uh, what else? What else? Oh, let's talk about Rustlung. Rustlung, um, I really like Rustlung. Um, 
it works well for most game types. I've played some execution on it. I, I really like it for execution. The main thing I like about Rust Lung is, uh, is that it reminds me of Avalanche uh, in the way that there's no power weapons really. Um, I mean, th you can get power weapons. I mean, there's a, I guess there's a Mulcher, but that was on a, you know, I, I liked Avalanche because it was close quarters. You could get a lot of shotgun shots in. It was pretty, you know, it was balanced for like a lot of game types and uh, there was only like grenades and Mulcher. It's basically the same thing here. There's no like super powerful power weapons except for that fucking um what is it? Uh, I can't even think. The silverback. You can actually get the silverback in in multiplayer, which is ridiculous. It's it's fun as hell to use, but uh, it's actually I don't know. If you if you work together, you can take like it, it's it's extremely powerful. But if you work together, you can take it down pretty easily. I think just one uh ooh nice double one uh smoke grenade will like knock the guy out of it or something like that I don't, I'm not sure I, I think that's what it was but uh, yeah just just pay attention to the second round the second round is where I get you know is where I get most of my kills but I don't know and another thing that made me mad is uh, in the second round our teammate outbounced like his parents were yelling at him or something and he had to fucking go do something and uh, so he stops moving about halfway through the second round and that <laughs> that made me pretty mad but whatever um, but besides that, wrestling, wrestling. Oh yeah, I've got some uh, wingman matches because uh, I, I did this. I, if you guys remember, I did a wingman marathon session with K True back in Gears 2, and we played around 30 games and lost very few of them. We we won like 26 out of 30 games or something like that. And uh, we, we we I don't know what am I saying? We 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 we. I'm French now. But uh, we uploaded, uh, he uploaded all of them, I uploaded most of them, I still have some, but I stopped uploading them because I was going to let him finish it, and uh, I'm going to I'm gonna come back to it and upload the rest of them, you know, eventually, but what I think I'm going to do is, uh, oh wait, I never even finished when I was talking about the, well, I'm, I'm rambling, sorry guys, you probably have no idea what I'm saying, okay, we did another wingman marathon for Gears 3 uh, a couple days ago, and uh, we, we did pretty good, we tried it back when Gears 3 first came out, but, you know, that's, I was still trying to get used to it and shit, and it wasn't working, but uh, we did it again, and uh, this time it worked out much better. And we played some games on wrestling, and I did work. Wrestling, I don't know. I just I really like it. I like wrestling a lot. Um, Blood drive's pretty good. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else is there? Clock tower. I love clock tower. Clock tower is amazing. I do work on clock tower too. Uh, that's just another one of those. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about Clock Tower because like I never played Gears One, but I just I don't know. I, I really like Clock Tower. Um, it just seems it seems like it flows really well for a lot of game types. Um, Blood Drive's all right. Uh, Bullet Marsh. I don't know. I don't know what it is about Bullet Marsh. I just hate it. I just absolutely hate it. Um, it's not that I always like just do terrible on it because uh, sometimes I can do really good on Bullet Marsh, but it's like a lot of the time. Oh, there we go. I got I got Arctic back for that time he beat me earlier. So. Oh my god, I beat a pro in a shotgun battle. I can't believe it. Um, anyways, uh, <clears throat> what, what was I saying? Bullet Marsh, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I just, it seems, it seems like, I don't know if it's because it's so dark. I, I can't ever tell what the fuck I'm doing on Bullet Marsh. Like, I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, Wingman on Bullet Marsh is kind of, kind of stupid. Uh, Team Deathmatch on Bullet Marsh, oh my god, that is, <sighs> I played one team deathmatch on Bullet Marsh and I got destroyed because I was playing against a uh, hero and some of his friends. Oh, that was that was awful. Oh, I did not I did not enjoy that. But I don't know I don't know what it is about Bullet Marsh. I just don't really like it. Uh, what other map came out? I don't even know. Azura. I really like Azura. Oh man, Azura is Azura's beast. Um, good for Wingman. Good for King of the Hill. Really good for King of the Hill. Um, Execution, I don't know. It's, it's a big map, so I, I prefer it for uh, game types that make you move around. Like That's why I like Wingman and King of the Hill. They make you... Uh, they kind of promote movement, so that's that's the main reason I like it. And, oh, I, and <laughs> whenever I get a meat shield, I cannot control that thing. Oh, outstrafed. Uh, but whenever I, I, like, whenever I grab a meat shield, I cannot aim my pistol. I can't melee anyone. I can't do anything. That's why you usually just see me just shoot the guy that's on the ground after I down somebody. I won't even meet shield. I usually just try to body everyone and just hope for the double or the triple kill or whatever. Oh, do I get this guy? Oh, yes. Don't tell me I lose this battle. Oh, don't tell me I lose this battle. No. Oh, I cannot believe this. I'm choking so hard. Oh, I got him. Nice. 
Oh, why did I roll? What am I doing? That was stupid. Ah, I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> Whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, these guys, uh, these, uh, these ZYN guys, they're really cool dudes. They said good game after the match. You know, I never, I never hear them talking shit about anybody. Um, they're always just really cool guys. They like to help people out. They have their own YouTube and all that shit. I'm sure you guys know. Um, they have YouTube, but I mean, because he has like, they have thousands of subscribers, but. You know, I just I thought it was really cool that we got into a game with them. Um, I've been wanting to play against these guys for a long time. Uh, I wouldn't, I don't know, I wouldn't want to do it in an execution though, because like, oh, there's a silver bag. He ended up grabbing it. I think that knocked him out of it. That uh, smoke grenade. So, but by the way, that silver bag, it will, it will kill you in like half a second. You like barely get any shots on you, and you are dead. Like it's, it's ridiculous. I don't know, I don't know what to see. That look at that out bounce, just chilling out right there. Oh, yeah, like I said, he just kind of stopped moving, but, um, shit, what was I saying? Um, I know I said something about Wingman earlier with K-True. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is let him post all those, and, um, I think, like, in a few months, because after I do my uh, tournament with Hayabusa, then I'm going to post the rest of those Wingman. I'm going to post the rest of the Gears 2 Wingman matches, and then all the Gears 3 matches, so that'll be good. I'll do, like, all of them in one fucking sitting, but for those of you who don't know, or whatever, any new subs or anything like that, um, I'm doing this tournament with Hayabusa, it's going to be a execution King of the Hill and Team Deathmatch, there are eight teams in it, the winning team um, will get 1600 Microsoft points each, and we will be in spectator mode and commentating the action while it's happening, and we're going to upload it to YouTube, it's going to be a lot of fun, really, really good teams in there, so it's going to be action packed, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be awesome, so Stick around for that. That's happening this weekend, by the way. Um, so all you teams out there, get get your shit ready. We're going to get it started um, this weekend. So get your practice in and whatnot. Uh, we already have all the teams ready. They're all the team, the brackets filled. Everything's ready to go. Um, I'm sorry to anybody else who wanted to join in. I mean, we just we filled up the bracket with all the teams that submitted their whole team. Like if if you just said, hey, I'm in. I want to do it. We we can't. I mean, we can't just say, okay, yeah, you have a spot saved. We had to. We had to like. We had to, what am I trying to say? The teams that sent in their whole roster and their team name and all the gamer tags, those are the guys that got to uh, participate. So, yeah. And what else? Oh, yeah. I recently watched a video from this guy named Video Fletcher. He had this, um, he's a Gears commentator, by the way. And uh, he did this video showing how you can get back some old deleted videos, that you, like videos you had before but you deleted. And I, I went back because I wanted my, um, my old Halo montage back. And... Uh, because I had to delete it because I, I tried to apply for a partnership, but I got fucking denied. Anyway, because I, you know, I wasn't a very big commentator back then because I, I only had like a couple hundred subs and I, they said I didn't have enough views. I'm talking really fast now. But uh, I got back my old uh, Halo montage that I deleted, you know, because I had like the third, because I had music and it had that third party shit. And I couldn't apply for partnership if I had videos with that on it. So I had to delete a bunch of videos. And I got that one back, so I think I'm going to go ahead and upload it again just for the hell of it. It was just a, a fun Taj. It wasn't, because a lot of those clips were just funny or luck. Like, they were all, like, they were all good clips. Like, they were all, like, triples and overkills and killtaculars and shit. But a lot of them were funny, because, like, they're one of them I got an, an overkill from the grave. Because uh, I was on, I'm not even going to bother, I was on a, what was it called? Sand, sand trap. And I threw a, a, a landmine down uh, underneath a warthog. And they, the guys kill me, and then they all like they all piled into the warthog, and it blew them all up. It was fucking hilarious. So yeah, I'm gonna upload that. But anyways, looks like this game's over. So yeah, um, get ready for all the new uploads coming up. I'm gonna be uploading a lot more uh, now, and uh, I don't know. I guess that's all I have to say. So thanks for watching, guys, and have an excellent day. And shut up, shut up, shut up, you fucking dog. Shut the fuck up. Um, right here, we were just leaving the uh, party chat to say good game. They said good game back. Everybody was all cool. Alright, but anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an excellent day.